As young as five years old, I remember singing with a trio of girls. Long before I was in Point of Grace, I was performing with my two older sisters, Dana and Reed. My mom was the pianist and the children youth choir director of our small country church. And if we didn't have special guests performing at our fifth Sunday night concerts, then guess who was performing? Mom would make us get up there and sing. God apparently knew I would need the practice in a girl's trio. Well, growing up, I shared a room with my sister, Reed. I was the neat freak and she was kind of the pig pen. And the three of us, we were normal siblings. We fought a lot. We did everything together and always had a playmate. We shared a lot of the same things too, like clothes and hobbies and one bathroom. Dana, she was the peacemaker and protector and Reed, she was super smart, but she loved to rough house with me. I was the baby, which obviously means I was the tattletale and the brat. And when we weren't in trouble, we had a wonderful childhood. Having two sisters taught me to share, to compromise, to forgive, to support and to love in the most unique way. And once my oldest sister went off to college, there was a shift in our household dynamic. And then more shifts as we each graduated college and eventually married, all within two and a half years of each other. My poor dad's wallet and heart just took a beating. Well, each of us, we've all been married to our wonderful husbands for over 29 years. Each of us have a son and a daughter. Of course, this is just a snapshot. We had our dysfunctional moments. We just weren't the perfect family but we had the knowledge of the perfect Christ that our parents tried to demonstrate. I can't imagine life without Dana and Reed. They are my best friends. My siblings have supported me in what I do and have provided godly counsel when I needed it. For me, sisterhood is priceless. Whether your sibling relationships come in a form of biological siblings or church friends or school friends, sisterhood, brotherhood, Whatever the sort, they're gifts from God and they are worth nurturing and protecting. You have to be intentional about keeping those relationships healthy. After all, they are the people who stick with you when life gets hard. Anything worth having takes dedication. Find a sister if you don't have one. Be a sister to someone who needs one. There's always room for another sibling in someone's family. And you might be exactly the rock that they need.